the chances of this of the George Floyd Policing Act getting through the Senate? How because that's that's going to be the holdup here. How are you feeling? I would say we have an 80 percent chance. And in a couple of days, I might even raise that to 90 percent. I've been working with Senator Scott and Senator Booker. Senator Scott is the one charged with bringing the Republican votes together. And um, he's been a straight shooter, very committed to this. And uh, I believe that we will have a bill on President Biden's desk. And I don't think it'll be too much longer. I remember, you know, as a teenager, when the civil rights law was passed in 1964, everybody said, oh, my God, this is this is game changing. This is incredible. And yet it didn't take even if you pass a law, a, a really good law like the one you're talking about. I don't understand how that is going to translate, given how everything is so embedded in the culture of policing. You are 100 percent correct. Absolutely. And, you know, you got it. The key point, which is the culture of policing, even how we view policing in our country because and how we view it in different communities. Because, as you know, when it comes to poor communities, when it comes to black and brown communities, the, we're viewed, the police come in like they are warriors, like they're in a war zone. And to quote our Democratic caucus chair, Hakeem Jeffries, they look at the citizens as in, enemy combatants. That's the way they view the entire area. They go to affluent areas that are white, and they're there to protect and serve. In my district, I represent both types of communities. Same police department, completely different perspectives when they go from one side of town to the other. And so this is a long battle. Policing developed in our country over many, many years. And one of the things that's happened over the last, I would say, 20 years is that police departments, police unions have systematically gone from state to state to state to change state law that essentially makes them less and less accountable over time. We think policing should be elevated like any other profession, where there has to be transparency and accountability. So here you have the profession where I can take away your life, your freedom, as well as your life, but I do not want to be held accountable to anybody for anything. 